There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I've played 50 of them at random so far. These are the top 10 worst. Microprose Soccer is an 8-bit Commodore 64 title that plays well and is the precursor to the immortal Sensible Soccer series. Keith Von Ehren's Pro Soccer is a poor DOS sport for US markets, featuring a player most people have never heard of. Who thought playing music in the middle of a football game was a good idea? There are touches of genius to come, but like a retired footballer as soon as you see them trying to track back you realise why you don't pay to watch them anymore. A one-man effort to create something with the 3D game creation system should be lauded. But even by the time of its release, Chemical Warfare was horribly dated and ran like hot garbage when I gave it a go. With technical issues galore and titles like System Shock and Doom already having done what it was attempting far better years before, Chemical Warfare will have to slink back into the sewers of shareware shooters that can't produce the right endorphins anymore. It seems unfair to lump 1-2-3 talk in here, but just because a title is edutainment doesn't mean it can escape my wrath. The horrific digitised speech attacks you from every angle, and explosions of colour permeating the screen make sure you'll easily be able to identify which child in the classroom is epileptic. Of course, for the average YouTuber, 4th grade math is particularly hard, so perhaps this game might prove to be useful after all. Never has a game proven so accurate in its title. From the piercing PC speaker to the frustrating wrist-snapping mouse-based dice rolling system, this computerised board game features an AI seemingly impervious to the arcane rules and quite happy to rub your face in it. Perhaps you can learn the rules and somehow best the computer, but by that point your hand will be so sore that deep down you'll know it wasn't worth the effort. With terrible graphics and reasons that are about as good at platforming as their real-life counterparts, California Raisins made for poor digestion. With some titles you think if they'd just improve this here and that there it'd be playable. Not here. The ponderous balloon-based level selection screen and poor collision detection meant that this 80s platformer didn't jump to the top of my favourites. A poor port of a reimagining of an arcade game by a company that would go on to release nothing. Mega Phoenix is a short and painful reminder that it is possible to mess up a scrolling shooter. Murky graphics and unresponsive controls make fighting phoenixes an exercise in feathery frustration. Even if they had improved the visuals and control scheme, the sound is woeful and the enemy variety poor. There's no rising from the ashes for this particular title. Sporting an eye-watering menu, an awful control scheme, graphics clearly ripped off from other titles and unresponsive fighters wading their way through a world constantly suffering from slowdowns, Fist Fight looks and plays like a bad port of a better Japanese title, and hitting the wrong button will summon a second player to control against your will. This isn't a port though, this was native to DOS and the developers decided that quality assurance was something that happened to other people. Never has one game made me question the sanity of reviewing DOS titles like this one did. Space Spirals takes the concept of Missile Command and strips it of all fun. With twitchy, mouse-only controls begging to give you RSI, combined together with ammo that won't land where you aim it and blink and you miss it style difficulty. Truly a masochist's playground. And to top it off, an unauthorised appearance from James T. Kirk comes swinging by to knock out your shields. Technically, it's not even a DOS game, as its launcher was Windows-based. Extreme Paint Brawl is the worst first-person shooter of all time. Terrible team AI and dull graphics are matched only by the unbalanced sniper-like accuracy of your opponents. When they're not ignoring you and shooting at walls, they're quite happy to annihilate you in the sole hope that you'll stop torturing yourself by playing this game. I award this game no points, and may God have mercy on its soul.
Barbarian would be a dull if competent side-scrolling hack and slash game featuring poor AI if the controls were different. Instead, there's an action bar at the bottom of the screen that operates your hapless hero as he charges lemming-like from one instant death scenario to another. Lurching drunkenly like a ponderous concussion victim, the Barbarian has all the grace of a dying elk and about as much chance of getting through more than four screens before death comes calling, with the result of an impressive faceplant. Truly, he is the Barbarian, the King of Oafs, and the star of the worst game I've played so far. And if you liked or loathed this top 10 list, feel free to look at the other videos. There are some DOS games that I do like. And if you like what I do, hit subscribe!